I'm JJ. I'm Joshua. I'm George. I'm Jamie. And together we are... Like we just said, you and Jay. I'm JJ and I'm boys. I'm Josh and I'm... Bye. <laughs> Josh. I'm George. I'm Jamie. And we're having a photo shoot by Boys by Girls magazine. We are indeed. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Don't ever say you're lonely. Just lay your problems on me and I'll be waiting there for you. And then we became Uni and Jay. That is the story of Uni and Jay. By George from Uni and Jay. Uni and Jay. Uni and Jay. Uh, yeah, Carry You is basically about, it's about our journey throughout X Factor. It's about how we carry each other to get there, you know? So, um, hopefully there'll be a song in there for everyone. There is a song in there for everyone. Yeah. It's a real mix of songs. Yeah. <laughs> they're not all the same as Carry You, so hopefully if someone doesn't like Carry You, they'll find something on the album they do like. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm This is the album. We're just going to take out time. The Union J sound is kind of really you, you, the, you, <laughs> the Union J sound is quite unique really. It's nothing that's um kind of out there at the moment. It doesn't fit into a certain genre, does it? It's like has a certain little Union J's on the genre. Because we on the album yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the sound we've got on the album is sort of like we've got loads of different sounds on it. We just wanted to be true to all of our individual personalities, like we have got individual tastes and like, I think what's on the album is there's some really dance music, some ballads, some like rocky, so there's just like everybody on there. Yeah. What kind of album? Um, what kind of album? Yeah. Like, really different. We, we kind of like different things, but then again we come together like, it sounds stupid, but we are like four brothers, but we, we like completely, like we're from four different backgrounds, we like four like different things. And I think, but then there's that connection where we have a good relationship together. We live in our own little world, which I'm sure you found out today. Like, I don't think anyone's kind of learned how to understand us as a as a unit. We're a bit random. We're very odd. Like, yeah, we've got a very odd sense of humour, but we all get really much. But JJ's like, probably like the. He's it's turning like, quite serious now. Yeah, I'm getting serious. Because how we used to be focused and like the mum of the boom, make sure everything was fine. But I've kind of gone a bit crazy since X Factor, so I've kind of I just sort of lived in my own little world, and I love it. Like my, my world's just pink and fluffy. George is the worrying. The warrior. The warrior. I'm a warrior. I'm not a warrior, I'm a warrior. And Josh is the kind of joke when you learn. How do you, are you enjoying it? Yeah, very you're much. You're doing it right? Yeah. You're doing, doing awesome. awesome. You're going to be a bit more normal now. Um, we've learned a lot of lessons, obviously, going through X Factor and everything. One of them for me is probably to trust your gut instinct and always go, like, go with your gut instinct to follow your heart. I mean, it says that it's cheating, but it's worked for me, hasn't it? Yeah, we've got a vision, but like we know kind of how we want things to go. So I think it's just almost having working together with, with you know, when we're in the X Factor, working together with the choreographers, just working together as a team, and kind of just approaching things differently. Don't be too full on. Don't be too. Don't not say anything. So have the balls to say something, but do it well. Do you know what I mean? Joe, you know I've not cried. I've cried twice in the past like year and a half. One was when we got through the judges' houses to get to the live shows of X Factor, and the second time before we got kicked out of X Factor. I think I think it's when me and Josh like Josh is the same when we watch a soccer movie. Yes, yeah, like, you say that, but we watched Hunger Games last time. When the little girl died, I did actually cry a little bit, but it didn't it didn't come out of me, you know what I mean? I didn't cry. I wanted to. Family, friends, friends, design. Uh, our job is very happy and we will be so good at this. Being on stage. Like you've been running for hours and can't catch your breath. The demons are screaming so loud in your head. I don't take the bus. Why are you laughing? I don't understand. You've got to stand crazy. 